A very good morning, ma'am. I am Saitha Patel, and my topic is clock synchronization in wireless network. So, when we read the topic, the main question arises: is what is clock synchronization? So, it is a mechanism to synchronize clocks of all computers in a distributed environment. In a traditional distributed system, we can easily and efficiently de deploy time servers. But these assumptions are no longer valid in wireless network. Hence, reference broadcast synchronization algorithm comes into picture. So what is this algorithm? It is a protocol where a sender broadcasts a reference message that will allow its receivers to adjust their clocks. It is also referred as point to reference message. So this synchronization protocol is quite different for two reasons. The protocol does not assume that there is single node with accurate amount of time available. And second, it deviates from this pattern by letting only receivers synchronize, keeping the sender out of the loop. So this protocol is shown in the following diagram. A key observation is that in sensor network, the time to propagate a signal to other nodes is roughly constant, provided no multi-hop routing is assumed. Propagation time in this case is measured from the moment that a message leaves the network interface of the sender. As a consequence, two important sources of variation in message transfer no longer play a role in eliminating delays. That is, the time spent in constant construct of a message, that is the message preparation, and the time spent to access the network, that is time spent in NIC, as shown in figure B. So in figure A, the critical path in determining network delays without the RBC is shown, that is from the message preparation till the delivery time. And in RBS, the critical path is defined after from the time spent in NIC to the delivery time. So this difference is seen in when we use RBC protocol. As wireless networks are based on concatenation protocol, there is generally no saying how long it will take before a message can be transmitted. These factors of non-determinations are eliminated in RBS. What remains is the delivery time at the receiver, but this time varies considerably less than the network access time. So this is about all about clock synchronization in wireless network. Thank you.